What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another video on the channel. I was going to be doing a draft today and tomorrow. Obviously it's World Cup third place playoff day and World Cup final day for tomorrow's video. Um, I'm in Tampa right now at Guardian Con. If you guys are at Guardian Con and you're watching this video, come and see me. Don't be shy. Um, and uh, I basically am just running out of time to do drafts. So what we're going to do uh, for today is, we're, as you can tell by the title, we're going to do a 99 pace team. And the way we're going to achieve a full 99 pace team is via attribute cards. As you can see, I've got three 99 pace players on the bench already. Uh, we pop Kaka up to 99 pace. And although it says 99 on the card in typical EA fashion, it's not actually 99 in game. I don't know why. Uh, 97 sprint speed and a 99 acceleration. Hyung Min Son has 99 and 98. And Edison Cavani has 96 acceleration and 99 sprint speed. But I've got those as my subs for today's video. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to show you the full squad. Every single player has 99 pace here today in the squad. And then we're going to go live and play a daily knockout tournament game. Even if that game gets, you know, if I get an early rage quit in the DKT. It will, uh, it will be all that we get to see of the 99 pace team. Now, I've popped also a speed attribute card on Zoot. Um, I don't, I, there might be a goalkeeper that you can get up to 99 pace, but he just works good for me for chemistry. So we've got him up to 83 speed. Obviously, it doesn't make much of a difference having him in there. Now, if you guys could drop a thumbs up on the video, it would be much appreciated. And if you want to see more Super Juice stuff, I actually used to do a lot of this sort of stuff back in FIFA 14 and FIFA 15. If you want to see me boost other stats or specific leagues or, you know, take the slowest players and make them as fast as possible and then play games with them. If you want to see more of that along with Draft the Glory over the next few months before FIFA 19, just drop a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section down below what you would like to see. So... Who have we got in this 99 pace team? In at right back, we have got Javier Zanetti. He has the pace card on him as well. Takes him up to 97 acceleration, 99 sprint speed, but 99 pace. Obviously very, very nice. Our two centre-backs are going to be Paolo Maldini and De Ligt. Uh, De Ligt, obviously, given the chem link that we need to zoot. De Ligt goes up to 99 pace there. 94 acceleration and 99 sprint speed. And Paolo Maldini goes up to 99 pace with 97 acceleration and 98 sprint speed. Because EA is good at math. Uh, fantastic stuff. And then in at left back, we've got one of my favourite left backs. If not my favourite left back throughout this year so far. In Alex Tellez. He goes up to 97 acceleration and 99 sprint speed. 99 pace on the face card. And what a card that is, by the way. Three centre midfields coming up for you guys here. Jonas... Ronaldo and Goretzka. Now, of course, my team is going to go into the 4 one 2 one 2 I'll show you what it looks like in-game in a second. We start with Jonas here, guys. Five-star weak foot as well. And we've got him up to 99 pace. And that card actually looks devastating. Of course, you can't use attribute cards in FUT Champions, so that's a little bit whatever. But 99 pace, 95 dribbling, 97 shooting, 91 passing. And he actually goes to 99 acceleration and 99 sprint speed, which is fantastic. And that is a card that is probably going to be deadly. I've already enjoyed him. I use him as a centre mid anyway, but that's an absolutely sensational card. We've then got Prime R9, obviously with the 5-star, five 5-star five also going up to 99 acceleration and 99 sprint speed. Um, good shooting, obviously. Good dribbling, obviously. And uh, perfect, uh, well, good passing for a striker anyway with great physical attributes on the Ronaldo too. And then our final midfielder is going to be Leon Goretzka, four-star weak foot, six-two high high, one of the best midfielders in the game this year. He goes to 99 sprint speed and 97 acceleration with great passing, great dribbling, great defending, great physical and great shooting to boot. An incredibly well-rounded card. One of the few cards, actually, that with a plus 10 all attributes card. In fact, if we have one, uh, let's have a look if I've got one. I don't. So Goretzka with a plus 10 all attributes card um, gets to 99 in all categories with the 50% coach boost. He actually goes to 99s everywhere, which is amazing. We've used him before in a team to do just that. And then our, our wingers, guys, our first left wing is going to be Quincy Promes. Let's just pop him on the right-hand side for the time being. A uh, four-star, four-star, absolutely sensational card this card is. 99 sprint speed, only 95 acceleration on him. I wonder, I don't have a pace card to boost him otherwise outside of that. Great shooting, great passing, great dribbling, great stamina, great composure. I mean, this this card for for as cheap as he was at the time, what did I buy for? Like 30,000, 35,000 coins for a card this good? Absolutely insane. 
Our other winger, our other pace merchant is going to be Leon Bailey. Uh, also four star, four star. Again, with him, you can see we've got 35 goals and 29 assists in 53 games with him. 99 acceleration, 97 sprint speed, and then exemplary stats outside of that. And then our main man up front is going to be actually a centre forward for us. That is going to be Ruud Hullet. So Ruud Hullet coming in as well with 99 pace now. And, you know, he's obviously already one of the most well-rounded cards in the game. 99 sprint speed, 97 acceleration, great shooting, great passing, great dribbling, great defending and great physical. So to start with, this team does start on 100 chemistry. We swap those around like that. Everybody is on 10 chem with exception of the right winger on 6, 7 if I put the right manager on, but I haven't done so. But how this team will look in game, guys, is going to be in the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. We're going to be having um, pull it down at there. We're going to be having Jonas in at midfield there. And that's how this is going to line up. Now, obviously... I'll be very upset if I manage to lose the first game in the DKT. I mean, I'm not trying to say that I'm like the best player in the world or anything, but the DKT is generally a relatively easy uh, thing to get into and go for. This, though, guys, is how the squad is going to look. And the fact that we've got 99 pace on this team, I'll be upset if we have anything other than a comfortable victory. That, though, guys, is the squad. Let's get into the action. Okay, guys, and our opponent for today has got a 4-1-2-1-2 Premier League team. Aubameyang and uh, Aguero up front. Pogba in at Cam. Sanchez and Rashford on the wings. Team of the season, Matic, which is a good card in at CDM. Team of the season, Young at left back. The Festival of Football card, uh, the Festival of Football Rojo card in at centre-back um, with uh, Valencia at right back there. I didn't actually see his other centre-back. But let's switch up again into the formation. And let's, I mean, let, let's hope that we don't get embarrassed by this guy, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I will be genuinely upset with myself if I don't win this game. My team is anyway much better than his. Maybe for future Super Juiced or future, like, attribute card uh, using squads. Um, maybe what we'll use. Who do we have? Yeah, Carl Walker at centre back. Wow, brave. Um, maybe what we'll do is take like lesser ability players that we can get boosted up. So instead of taking like team of the seasons and and uh, icons that I currently have in this squad, maybe we'll go and get like informs or regular gold cards, like like taking a Carl Walker and boosting him to ninety nine pace and things like that, just so that it's not like you know I've I've already got one of the best teams in FIFA along with then playing attribute cards on these players too. And it's also fair to say, though, uh, something that a lot of people don't really take into consideration, and that's that in terms of like straight speed, agility and... Um, that should be a goal there from Goretzka! Oh, he's dragged it wide! No! Uh, agility and balance are super important in uh, how fast a player feels. You know, one of the common misconceptions about FIFA Ultimate Team is when people say, how does such and such player, you know, catch up with or outrun such and such player? Well, you know, it's very possible that if you have low agility and balance on, you know, one of your players that you're trying to sprint with and you try and turn with him, as you turn with him, he's going to lose a whole bunch of that, uh, that momentum that he's got running forwards. That's actually a good play. That's a great tackle. Um, yeah, he's going to lose a whole bunch of that momentum running forwards and, uh, you know, potentially cost you... A lot of pace right there. Let's get his Ronaldo in. We've got uh, Bailey. Plays the 1-2 with Promes. Oh, Promes is going to get there. Yes, he is. Promes. Oh, that's a good block. That is a, uh, that's two. I think the Goretzka chance I really should have scored. Um, that Promes chance I really could have scored. This guy's trying, you know, he's trying to play a, a solid game of FIFA here, which I, I respect, of course. Um, he's backing off me. He's a very passive player. I don't like playing against passive players. It's, it's always bad news for me personally. Here we go. Quincy Promezo. Good shot. Good. I shouldn't be shooting that. That's a low, low percentage chance, that is. That's an absolute waste of possession. I had multiple things I could have done with that there. It's going to go in for there. There's Goretzka picking up the loose ball. Here's uh, Ronaldo into Promez again. Promez can't control the ball, sadly. That's a great tackle from Rude Hullet. And I should be able to intercept that. Who is this? Oh, I've run, I've run straight past him. He's got a ball down the line there as well. I shouldn't ever really be outpaced by his uh, by his players. It, like if, if he does get like a through ball through, um, I should always win win the race to get that, obviously. Uh, but here we go. We've got a little bit of space here with Zanetti into Ronaldo. Ronaldo back down to Zanetti. So much pace, but not all the stamina, though. He gets in behind. Here is Ronaldo. There's the first goal we were looking for. It's been coming, guys. We've had a couple of clear-cut opportunities, 
before this video that we were unable to take, before this video, before that goal went in that we were unable to take. Ronaldo does get his left foot on the ball there, drives that one home, De Gea can't save it. And it's 1-0 and that, that's just, that's nice for me to feel, uh, feel, feel the relief of, you know, putting myself in a strong position uh, against just a dangerous opposition. This guy's got a good team, not a great team. He's got some insane players, you know, he's got that Matic card that's very good. He's got that Ashley Young card. He's got players like Aubameyang and stuff that are always just super overpowered. Uh, doesn't matter if it's the golds uh, or not. Oh, that's, oh, wow, Promise has managed to get that back. That's a drag back of dreams. What a save from David De Gea. That really should have been 2-0. What can we make of the corner? We've got Jonas at that front post. It's gone all the way to the far post. Goretzka's going to win that header. Rude Hullet's going to get the loose ball. Rude Hullet's going to go all the way down the back and, and hopefully flip this to the far post. And there is Quincy Promise. He can't get his head to it, but Jonas can. He's in the bar. Promise, no. De Gea saves. We should be out of sight in this game, guys. This is very, very, very annoying that we're unable to uh, to capitalise on some of these absolutely incredible opportunities that we've had. He gets the ball spread out nicely there to Marcus Rashford. And that is Maldini intercepting into the space there. Goretzka into Promise. He's got Bailey running through. That's beautiful. Bailey around the defender. Bailey with the drag back. Oh, sorry, the ball rolls. Bailey! What a goal that was. And Walter the Bruce looks like he might be out of here, guys. The double ball roll past the defender there just absolutely sold him short. And then the ball goes in off the, uh, in off the post on the left-hand side. We go 2-0 up after 25 minutes. And two Ronnies might be out of here, guys. This might be the end of today's video. What are we going to get? Is he going to rage crew or is he going to make some changes? Maybe he's making some tactical changes. He's still in the 4-1-2-1-2. He's got Lacazette, Fabregas, Martial... Eric Bailly, uh, Sané on the bench. He's got some good players on the bench. Is he going to take use of those players or is he just going to leave? Let's wait and see. Hopefully he does something in these uh, next 10 seconds. These are always the dead parts of the video. And he quit. There you go. So he's gone. Um, we get a goal from Ronaldo, a goal from Bailey, one assist from Ronaldo and one assist from Javier Zanetti. Let's take a look at those goals one more time. Absolutely dominate, as you would expect. You know, We missed a sitter with Goretzka to start with. Uh, Bailey, uh, sorry, Promes gets the ball in, heel to heel flick with Goretzka, you expect that to hit the target. Um, we then get a goal with Ronaldo, Zanetti down the right hand side, ball rolls inside, passes it to Ronaldo, takes one touch and shoots, that's a beautiful goal there. And then uh, he gets a, a save with David De Gea here, Promes gets in behind, drag back, boom, big shot, big save. And then finally the goal here with Bailey, just the acceleration all the way through, the ball roll past Valencia there, really sold him. And it goes in off the post of that near side of David De Gea. And we get ourselves a big 2-0 win. And we go through on into the second round of the DKT, which will be tomorrow's video, which will be another 99 stat video. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, drop a thumbs up on it. It'd be much appreciated. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.